It's time for more superheroes. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching X-Men. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today we are diving into a new series of movies, and that is the X-Men movies. I have heard that the X-Men films are a bit more grounded, more gritty, more dramatic, potentially even more story-driven than the newer Marvel movies that we typically see that are maybe more character-driven. I see that they've been around for a while, and I think some people have even told me that they're like the first real series of superhero movies. I know that there are superhero movies that were made way back in the day, but um, there seems to be a lot of love around this series and a lot of friends in my regular life are very excited for me to watch this. So I'm excited to dive on into this series of films. I'm not gonna lie. I literally drafted a poll on Patreon about the X-Men movies, specifically asking if I could just jump to Deadpool or if I had to watch all the other movies leading up to it. There's definitely some movies in this series of films, things like Lover Loverine, <laughs> things like Wolverine. I believe Logan might be a part of the X-Men movies. I'm not quite sure, but Deadpool is definitely the one that I'm most excited to get to. And I have a ways away from that. And I literally drafted a poll asking if I could just jump to Deadpool or not. And it was actually a pretty tight race. A lot of people said I could just jump to Deadpool, but a lot of people were also like, no, you probably should just watch all the movies in release order so that it makes the most sense. And I do kind of agree with those people and um, they ended up winning the poll. So that's what we're doing. And we're gonna be watching all the movies here in release order. A lot of folks also mentioned when I was watching WandaVision that the actor who played Pietro in WandaVision is the actor who played Pietro in X-Men. So I think that's really cool. And I'm excited to see him whenever we get to him. I don't know if he'll be in this first movie or not. I wonder if things will start to make a lot more sense or if it's gonna be a lot of separation from the Marvel characters that I've already met. Um, you know, we'll have Pietro, but I wonder if we'll have Wanda or if we'll have anyone else, any other overlaps, or if it'll be kind of separated. I don't know much about the X-Men at all. Um, I've never seen a single movie, I'm pretty sure, in this series of films. I haven't seen Wolverine or uh, Deadpool or any of the regular X-Men movies. So this is definitely going to be an interesting journey. I wonder if I'll catch on quickly or if I'll have a lot of questions. I've heard good things about these movies, so I am pretty excited. But real quick, before we hop on into this new series of movies, I just want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. Helix knows that everyone's needs are different, so they designed their sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleeping position with the perfect mattress for you. Tyler's a back sleeper while I'm a stomach sleeper, so when we took the quiz together, Helix matched us with the Dusk Lux. We've had our new mattress for just over two months now, and it has been an absolute game changer. I absolutely love how plush it feels while still providing the right amount of support. With our old mattress, I would wake up some mornings with stiffness and pain. With our new Helix mattress, I now wake up feeling limber, pain-free, and ready to take on the day. With your purchase, Helix will give you a 100-night sleep trial, plus a 10-year warranty. So if it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried, which it does for me sometimes, they will give you just over three months to make sure that you love it. And if you don't, they'll pick it up for you and give you a full refund. Just click the link in the description below to get $200 off your new Helix Sleep mattress plus two free pillows. Thanks so much to Helix for sponsoring today's video and thank you guys as always for listening to the sponsor. And with all that being said, I think we should just hop on into the movie. So grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Oh, oh, World War II. Oh God, oh goody. Oh, I'm gonna cry, aren't I? I don't have tissues here. No, they're separating, oh God, ah! Oh God, I hate this so much, I hate this. Is he moving the gate? Oh my God, he's so strong, he's doing that. Oh my God. Oh no, oh no, oh no. This little Jewish boy is gonna be a superhero? Holy f Oh no, 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 no. Don't show me the gas chamber. Okay, cut away. Ugh. I'm trying not to cry, like I don't have tissues. <laughs> 
Okay, now we're in Mississippi. Only a few hundred miles to Anchorage. Oh, it'll be kind of cold. Well, that's the point, stupid. <laughs> she wants to drive to Alaska from Mississippi. <laughs> that's a long way. You gotta be careful, because it, it snows there early. Is this a young Anna Paquin? It's not, is it? <gasps> Did she just kill someone? Did she just kill him accidentally? Oh my god. Oh, the poor girl. Oh, Those the poor girl. Patients manifest at puberty and are often triggered by periods of heightened emotional stress. Oh, goody. For teenagers, how lovely. <laughs> teenagers with superpowers that manifest during puberty. That sounds horrible. <laughs> to force mutants to expose themselves will only further Expose subject... themselves? What is it the mutant community has to hide, I wonder, that makes them so afraid to identify themselves? It's like forcing somebody to come out if they don't want to come out. That's horrible. It's so interesting that we started this movie with the Holocaust, where people who were Jewish or gay or disabled would be treated differently and uh, countless other communities, but would be removed and labeled as other and put in camps because they were different and they were used as a scapegoat. And now we're paralleling that with mutants being treated unfairly and being treated as other. It's interesting. Eric, what are you doing here? Why do you ask questions to which you already know the answers? Oh, he's in shadow. I wonder if this is the guy who escaped the concentration camp. I wonder if this is the kid. I will bring you home, old friend. Is it Sir Ian McKellen? Oh my god. We are the future, Charles, not them. Yep, it is. <laughs> he's got such an iconic voice, man. What a great cast already. Now we're in Canada? Wow, we really get around. <gasps> oh, it's her! Did she flee? Did she go on the road trip by herself? Did she, I wonder if she killed her boyfriend by accident. Oh, God. Oh, what a lovely place. Wow, she really looks like a witch in this outfit. With this hood and this red sparkly turtleneck. Oh, my God. What? It, there's like a Thunderdome-style fighting arena in this bar? What the f*** is this? Is this Hugh Jackman? How funny would it be if this is Hugh Jackman? It kind of looks like him. Yeah, hey. Oh, he's got steel fists. Oh, Oh wow, he was called the Wolverine even before he has the claws come out. Or maybe the claws come out later, just like at certain moments. <laughs> wow, his hair. He really leaned into the Wolverine aesthetic <laughs> with that hair. Looks like pointy ears. What is she doing? She's staring so intensely at him. You owe me some money. What is wrong with this guy? You lost. Oh. Oh, there are the claws. Oh wow, that's insane. She's gonna follow him, isn't she? They gotta hang out. She must know she's a mutant now, but I don't know. I don't know what her power is. If it's like killing people with the with kissing them or what it is. <laughs> she must have snuck onto his truck or something. <gasps> she did. She did. <gasps> is she in the outside? She must be so cold. Thought you might help me. Get out. Oh no! You can't leave her here. She'll freeze to death. I saved your life. No, you didn't. Oh no. Oh come on. <laughs> He's going to let her back in the car. <laughs> Aww. See, now, now they're getting along. Now that's nice. I'm Rogue. Oh, her name is Rogue? That's pretty cool. Were you in the army? Maybe it's just part of the Wolverine aesthetic because it's a dog tag. I mean, Wolverines aren't really dogs, though. Wow. What? Suddenly, my life doesn't look that bad. Oh, honey! You can't talk to him like that. That's rude. <laughs> He's giving you a ride. When people touch my skin, something happens. What? I don't know. Oh, I wonder if she hasn't touched anyone since she kissed that guy. Or, you know, like, I wonder if this just happened because she's young and going through puberty and it's like a new evolution of her body or something. It's a horrible power to have if every time somebody touches you. Ah, Logan! Ah, Logan's totally an X-Men movie then. Okay, I get it. That's a terrible superpower to have if, uh, oh my god, what the f***? She was right. He should wear your seatbelt. Wow, he's fine. That's crazy. I was going to say it's a terrible superpower to have to, if somebody always touches you and like you're worried about them dying because they just touch you. That's horrible. Oh no. Is she bleeding? Oh girl, you got to get out of the truck. Oh, his head. Oh my God. He has super healing powers. Kid, are you all right? I'm stuck. So no, she's not all right. Holy shit. What happened? I don't believe in coincidences. This had to be planned. Oh no. Honey, you got to try to get out of the car. Who is this guy? Honey? Oh, God. Marie? Is this another Wolverine type man? What's going on with the growling? Oh, no. Oh, God, girl. Oh, God, girl. Holy shit. Oh, wait, this guy has actual fangs? Are you kidding me? Who are these people? They came out of nowhere. 
Oh, they got there in the nick of time to help him. That's good. <laughs> oh my god, that truck really... That, oh, wow. You're not getting that fixed. Wow, you can definitely tell a lot of the like editing style and the effects and stuff. Definitely feels very early 2000s. Weren't you supposed to bring someone back with you? Oh, does he not speak? Does he just roar like an animal? Oh no, is Ian McKellen a bad guy? This totally is the boy from the concentration camp. Oh boy, I'm scared for her. Jesus Christ. Yep, that's why I was scared. I thought he was gonna wake up. Jesus, dude. Oh my god. Okay, so he's not familiar with this place, I see. Where are you going? That's Charles, isn't it? Is that Charles in his head talking to him? Wow. Fancy hallway. Very different aesthetic than what was downstairs. Or upstairs. I don't know which direction we just went in. I'm assuming we went up. Where are you going? Oh, he's totally in his head. That is so disturbing. Oh my god, are we in a school? What is this? Oh no, these must be- is this like a mutant academy? How cool would that be? Ha 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 It is a mutant academy! That's so cute! I love that! You'll be safe here from Magneto. What's a Magneto? That's Eric, huh? Sir Ian McKellen? It's called Sabretooth. 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 Wait, you're- you think that's funny? You're a Wolverine! Anonymity is a mutant's first defense against the world's hostility. Oh, ball hog! That's not cool. Look at this little infomercial for the school. This looks like a little sales pitch video, the way that it was executed with the music. Oh look, she's in class. To become what the children have affectionately called X-Men. Is, is that a flower? Is that a, like a rose that he made? An ice rose or something? Oh, <gasps> They have horses? Oh, look at this charming barn. This is a bougie Westchester school. You know the situation? These mutants? If it were up to me, I'd lock them all away. Just for existing. You're a lovely person. I wonder if this guy's a mutant that works for him. How funny would it be? He probably isn't, but I just think that'd be so crazy. <gasps> nice! Oh, is this person a shapeshifter? Did she pretend to be his assistant? <gasps> wow, she really likes using her feet. <laughs> well, the senator did deserve that, but I am concerned about who these people are. <laughs> He has uncharted regenerative capability, which enables him to heal rapidly. Wow, so he, his power is healing, but somebody did this to him, so that's not his power. Wow. What do you think Magneto wants with him? Not entirely sure it's him Magneto wants. Oh, <gasps> Magneto wants him because he can control metal. Oh, no. He wants to be able to control Wolverine, maybe? Oh, God, the senator was captured by these guys. Yeah, that's unfortunate for you. Oh, my God! Ew! What do you intend to do to me? Let's just say God works too slow. Oh, goody. Oh, God, what's he gonna do? I'm, like, scared he's gonna s kill him. What is that? Oh, God. Is he gonna electrocute him or something? Oh, God. Oh, wow, he looks really scary like that. What is happening? Is he transforming? What is this? What was that? Oh, what a cliffhanger. Come on. I also have some telepathic ability. Well, like your professor. No one near that powerful, but he's teaching me to develop it. I'm sure he is. There's so much tension between these two. I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd rather not. Oh, the flirtatious tension. Oh, does she have to touch him to do it? Oh, she went back to his surgery. Scott. <laughs> The subtle, like, oops, <laughs> did I interrupt? Excuse me. <laughs> oh, and Logan, stay away from my girl. Oh, no. Oh, it is his girl? Oh, well, there's gonna be some more tension in the group, I see. Mm. Having nightmares? What is she doing? Does she have gloves on? You can't touch him, I thought. She must have gloves on, right? No, she doesn't have gloves on. Oh, my God, this makes me nervous. Just putting her hands near him. Wow, oh, he's having a nightmare about his surgery. <laughs> did he kill her? No, don't touch her. Wait. Is her power actually sucking the life out of people? Holy It was an accident. <laughs> oh no, everybody saw. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this poor girl. She's gonna have a harder time fitting in now. Whenever Rogue touches someone, she takes their energy, their life force. In the case of mutants, she absorbs their gifts for a short while. Holy Holy shit. she's so powerful then. But the poor girl can't ever touch anyone? Like no skin to skin contact? That's so sad. What? What the f Ew. Oh, have they been mutating him? They've been running experiments on him? Oh boy. Oh, he's right there though. Oh no. They turned him into a mutant. That's crazy. Wow, what a twist. I kind of like that they did that. It's f 
up, but I mean, because now he's he's going to see what it's like on the other side. <gasps> oh no, did he die? Oh god, please tell me he didn't die, because that's really bad. Wait, oh, was it like a sewer? Did he come out in the ocean? <gasps> Everyone's going to know it's the senator, too. Dude, you're naked. Oh no, what's going to happen now? What a twist. They say that you're stealing other mutants' powers. No, no, I, I, I borrowed his power. You never use your power against another mutant. She, he killed her, though. He would have killed her. You, you have to understand you, me. I get myself out of here. Wow. Professor Xavier is furious. I don't know what he'll do with you. He's not furious. That's not true. You should go. Rogue, don't listen to him. He's a jerk. Oh, is it somebody else? Or is it, it's probably the same guy. Maybe Bobby's just a jerk. I wonder why he's like that. This device amplifies my power, allowing me to locate mutants across great distances. That's how I intend to find Rogue. Oh, there she is. Oh my god, the style of this is so, like, so early 2000s. I almost feel like I'm watching Firefly. Storm, Cyclops, find her. See if you can talk to her. Oh, It's because of Bobby, the jerk. What? Where's my motorcycle? Oh no, who took the motorcycle? Ah! <laughs> oh no, he left. Oh, dude! No! When's the last time you saw her? She was supposed to meet me for lunch. The jerk. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's the shapeshifter Oh no. Wow, they really are using Rogue as a lure. That's bad. Welcome, Professor. Oh my god, the shape sh oh no. The shapeshifting even works for this? This is horrible. Wow, this girl is really dangerous. Oh no, they're messing with- oh no. Oh no, that's bad. Oh no, what do they do? Oh my god, you gotta be careful not to do skin-to-skin -skin contact. Oh god, it's so stressful. <laughs> Oh, he finally says English words. Interesting. <gasps> Come on, dude. Your friend needs help. Oh, no. There's another one. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's so bad. Is she going to die? Oh, no, she's not. She's causing a storm because the roof was just opened up. Oh, that's a good thing then. Oh, holy shit. All these poor people in the train station. I can't say I blame them for being a little scared of mutants. <laughs> With shit like this going on, it just but they still get deserve to be treated like as equals. Oh boy, is that Magneto? It's, it has to be. Oh, I'm worried for Wolverine because his body is filled with alloy, right? Is it metal? His body, I'm pretty sure, is filled with metal. Oh no, here he is with the with the cape on and the fabulous entrance. You must be Wolverine. Oh no. Remarkable metal doesn't run through your entire body, does it? It does. What the hell do you want? You. <laughs> fun. Oh, did he want Rogue? Oh, poor Rogue. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's he gonna do to her? Oh, he's gonna dart her? Oh, no. I was gonna say, she is pretty, pretty powerful. Here we are. Put your hands over your heads. Now. Oh, they're not gonna do that. Oh, goody. Yeah, I was gonna say, he can probably grab the guns because they're metal. Oh, no, no. Don't kill them. Jesus. Oh, God. That's enough, Eric. Yeah. Oh, sheesh. Wanna come out where I can see you, Charles? What do you want her for? Oh, he's controlling Sabretooth. I wonder if he's wearing that helmet to protect him from Charles getting in his head. Fine. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus Christ. And this, can't this guy just move away from the bullet? Or I guess not. He's not even running away. It's crazy. Oh, no. Poor Rogue just being schlepped around in a body bag. Maybe she's not in a body bag. Maybe it was just her jacket. It just looked like she was being carried in a bag. His helmet was somehow designed to block my telepathy. That's what I thought! Oh, wow, I guessed it right. You know, Magneto's right. There's a war coming. You sure you're on the right side? At least I've chosen a side. Her image was so blurry. Oh, <gasps> the senator! How ironic. He hated all these people before, and now he needs their help. I was afraid if I went to hospital, they would treat you like a mutant. Mm. How does it feel, Senator Kelly? How does it feel? He's going to read his mind. Oh, God. What did they do to him? They made him like a jelly man? It's weird. I wonder if Magneto's plan is to turn everybody into mutants so they all know how it feels, which would be chaotic as but maybe that's what he's going for. Oh, it really sucked his energy out. It sapped him. Burned his hands, huh? The machine emits radiation that 
Radiation. Oh. He's going to transfer his power to Rogue and use her to power the machine. Oh, God. Poor Rogue. Oh, this man looks so rough. He looks so bad. Please don't leave me. Wow, this man has fallen. His ego really has been taken down quite a few notches in this movie. Wow, he's sweating a ton. Is he sweating or is his body just leaking? Oh, no. <laughs> This is horrifying looking. Oh, there he goes. He's dying. Oh, no. He's jelly. Oh, he's water. Oh, he's gone. Holy f That was disturbing. Senator Kelly is dead. He burst like a bubble, like a little water balloon. And it was very disturbing. You know, I do feel kind of bad for Senator Kelly. Like, he, he, he did deserve some karma, but... <laughs> oh, God, what a horrible way to go. Oh, f I forgot. Oh, he didn't check the machine. He didn't check the machine. Oh, no, he didn't check the machine. Oh, no. What did they put in there? Oh, no, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. He's really underestimated Magneto this whole time. Charles is just so nice. Is she checking it out to see what they did? Oh, she fixed it. What was in it? Oh, no, is she going to use it? I forget what that thing is called. Is she going to use that tool, maybe, even though she's not really supposed to? Yeah, I think she's going to use it. Do it. Do it, girl. They need you. Do it. She's not even going to get a chair. She's just going to do it on her knees. Oh, that sounds wrong. Oh, so dramatic. Oh, no. Is she going to be able to handle it? I hope she can handle it. Oh, how did he get in there? That doesn't make sense. How did he get the door open without the doctor's eyeball? I know where Magneto's going. Oh, she managed to get the answers. Good job. Oh, because it's all about the UN meeting at Ellis Island. That's what we've been building towards. <laughs> Oh no! We had to crush him? Oh god. This toad guy is really creepy. Are you going to kill me? Yes. Oh, wow. So honest. What well, happens tonight? The world's powerful will be just like us. Oh god. No, you're gonna kill everyone. They're all gonna burst like little bubbles. No, they won't be mutants. Not for very long. Your sacrifice will mean our survival. You're gonna kill the majority of the Earth's population. <laughs> Put it in the machine. Oh, that sounds fun. That would give me so much anxiety. Oh my god, they're gonna use the Statue of Liberty to raise it? Like, to put it on? I love how dramatic and theatrical superhero- like, villains in superhero movies are. They're so theatrical. If Magneto gave Rogue enough power, he could wipe out everyone in New York City. Oh boy, that's fun. New York City is always a problem area in movies like this. Just don't live in New York is the moral of the story for a lot of these movies. Oh, they gotta wear the matching outfits now. That's funny. Once I give my power to the girl, I'll be temporarily weakened. You'll be my only defense. He looks concerned by that. Well, that's actually beneficial to Wolverine, because he might not be able to control Wolverine. Sorry? Ha <laughs> ha You call that a landing? Oh my god, that attitude between these two. As the others traverse the rigid security. Oh, he's all metal. That's awkward. That's funny, man. Oh no. Is this a shapeshifter? Yeah, it is. Oh, goody. There's someone here. Yep, you're right. Turn around. I know there's someone here. I just can't see. Oh, that's smart. Oh, that's smart of the shapeshifter. It's gonna be Wolverine fighting Wolverine. But this is weird. If she's a shapeshifter, like, shouldn't that be, shouldn't that not be real metal? I think the one who just got the fingers cut off is is the shapeshifter. <laughs> oh, there's a creepy toad guy. I really hate this guy. His powers are gross. Ew. You gotta have the nastiest tongue ever. And he's like so annoying about it. Like, look at him. Why is he prancing like this to be all funny? Gross. Oh, God. Oh, my God. The little effects look so outdated. It's so funny. This storm girl, it's like she can't do anything. Like, come on. I know she can, like, summon a storm, but maybe is her, her powers just useless inside? That's kind of unfortunate. He just made that look so easy. Yeah, there she is. Whoop. What was that stylized licking of the tongue? What the f Why was that necessary? She can just defy the laws of gravity and shapeshift? That's not fair. She got too many powers. Oh, here comes Storm. Finally, finally, my God. Honey, just electrocute him. This would be over a lot faster. Electrocute him, come on. There you go. 
Ew, oh, I hate this tongue thing. It's so disgusting. Nobody should be kissing this dude. You know what happens to a toad when it's struck by lightning? No, what? It burns? <laughs> what? Is this supposed to be a pun? The same thing that happens to everything else. Oh, clever. <laughs> Good job, girl, finally. Logan, is that you? Oh, no. No, I don't know. Is it? Is it him? I know, but there's a problem. <laughs> You're not part of the group. <laughs> Holy He knew- Oh my god, that was such a twist. Oh, he's so good! Holy Good job! His sense of smell is on point. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, let's get to the top. Yes, exactly. So now it's just Sabertooth left, and then Magneto, but Magneto will be theoretically weakened. Everybody get out of here. What is what? it? I can't move. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, he's- It's dangerous to face Dr. Gray. Facing Cyclops in case his helmet gets blown off. You better close your eyes. Oh no. That's great. Oh, he's using all them to threaten each other. Oh my god, look at all these people. These people have to translate around each other. That's gotta be so confusing. You guys are screwed. Get out of here. You gotta get off this island. How can he... So he can also just fly too? I have a question. How can he fly? Does his outfit have metal in it or something? I'm scared for Wolverine. Oh no. I'm like scared because his claws are facing his own chest. <laughs> Did he do that to himself to break out of that? Or did Magneto do that? Oh my god. I think he did it to himself because he knew he would heal. Yes! Oh god, he's got to face off with this guy. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, high stakes. Oh, that's fun. Ah, oh, like nails on a chalkboard. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh no, this is so bad. Guys, you don't have this kind of time. Nice! Nice! Good job! Oh my god, the effects are so funny. Wow! Look at you guys finally working together! I love it! Storm, can you get me up there? I can't control it like that. You can fly right over the torch. And let me go. But he's metal! Alright, do it. Oh, goody. I'm kind of confused why she can take Wolverine up there but not Cyclops. Why does that make sense? Like, I understand that the real point of it is because Wolverine's promised to protect Rogue and this is really about him helping her, but, like, he's still having a hard time flying over the top of the thing anyway, so why why couldn't Cyclops go? Also, shouldn't Magneto be, like, passed out and weak and exhausted? Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no, this isn't working. It's not working. Come on. How does he even have any energy left? Oh, this is horrible. Guys, hurry up! Oh, and the look on that guy's face, just like, oh no. I have a shot. I'm taking it. Yeah, I agree. Kind of, at this point, I would, I would have taken it too. Good job. Wow, all right. Oh, wow. They just in the nick of time. Who would have thought? <laughs> wow, good job, guys. Oh, God, Rogue. <gasps> Why does she have a gray streak now? Why does she have a gray streak? Did she age? Come on, girl. Oh no, he's gonna give her some of his life force. Oh god, that's so risky. Oh no, it's not working. What, is she dead? She can't be dead, no. What, no, I can't believe that she's dead. Oh no, it's happening. <gasps> let go over, let go over, let go over. Oh god, oh god, oh god. No, 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 come on, nobody needs to die in this movie, it's the first one. We can be all right, oh my god, no, what? No, 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 no. He didn't die, did he? He's not perma-dead, is he? Charles, you're back. You missed a lot, dude. How did we do? Haha. <laughs> well, the rest of them did just fine without you. Okay, he's gonna be fine. He's not healing, though. That's concerning. Oh, that's healed. That's good. Oh, wait, never mind. He is healing. Oh. Oh, good. It just took a little longer than normal, because he needed some energy. Oh, it tickles. Hey. These two are totally gonna get together, and Cyclops isn't gonna like it. You and I. How's the professor? Oh, he's like, don't tell me. I don't want that. No? Mm -mm, let's move on to the next conversation topic. <laughs> I don't want to hear a rejection right now. Oh, wow, she's got this cool streak in her hair. Oh, she's friends with Bobby again. That's good. I'm glad that didn't completely ruin the friendship. I was wrong in this particular issue. What? Mystique. Oh, yeah. No one wants to talk about in the news how he had yellow eyes. <laughs> oh, no. He's going to steal the motorcycle. That's not cool. I mean, I'm happy for him, but that's theft of property, dude. Poor Cyclops. <laughs> Why do you come here? Oh wow, he got imprisoned. You know this plastic prison of theirs won't hold me forever. Oh yeah, they had to put him in a prison of plastic because he can control metal, that's funny. And I will always be there, old friend. 
Did Charles mean he'd always be there, like, holding out hope that his friend would come back and not be the way he is? Wow. Real quick, I'm going to look up the cast just to confirm. Anna Paquin was rogue. I was right about that. She's kind of hard to miss for me, but that's because I watched a lot of True Blood when I was younger. You know, it's funny. James Marsden I had a hard time recognizing, too, because his eyes were covered the whole movie. Um... But I remember thinking he did look a little familiar, so that's so funny. All in all, it was a fun movie. Definitely feel like there's some interesting villains that I kind of empathize with. I kind of liked that we started from his perspective, from Magneto's perspective, because it really made you empathize with him a lot more as a character and kind of saw where he was coming from. It was definitely funny to see how dated the style is for the choreography and for some of the effects and the editing because you know this movie was released in the year 2000 i'm sure that as it goes on it'll feel more and more modern as we get into the newer movies um it was still well done though and i'll be curious to see what the storylines contain for the next few movies because this already has some pretty compelling characters with some interesting backstories definitely makes me curious about the movie logan which i would assume is about Logan before he becomes Wolverine. That's just if I had to guess. I'm really curious how Deadpool is going to play into all of this because the only thing I know about Deadpool is that he's like funny <laughs> um, and a more comedic character. And so far, all these characters are very serious and moody. So, yeah, I'll be interested to see how he plays into this world. And I'm going to be watching the next movie, X2, coming up pretty soon. But yeah, I can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. It'll be interesting to see how things progress. But until then, that's all I have for y'all in this video. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and it lets me know that you guys want to see more content like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.